Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Here's your news for July 29, 2019. We're starting off with some Hall of Famer news today as seven-time WWE Women's Champion Trish Stratus has been confirmed for the upcoming SmackDown Live. The legendary superstar will be appearing in Memphis for a special edition of King's Court with Jerry Lawler, and though Stratus has been rumored to face Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam, it's the SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley who's calling the Canadian out, saying, I don't know how many times I have to say that I want to elevate this division. That just doesn't mean the future which is Ember Moon at SummerSlam, that means the present, the past, I want it all. I want to be the best and I want to give everybody a chance to see what this division can be. So I'm reaching out to you Trish Stratus, even though you didn't answer my tweet, that's okay, I forgive you. I'll just bother you in a text or something. But honestly, in all seriousness, it would be a dream come true and it would just elevate this championship to where I want it to be, to where it needs to be, to where it deserves to be. So Tuesday Trish, I'm calling you out. Trish Stratus, the past, the present, and the future. Let's hang out Tuesday, okay? A match between two of the most popular female superstars of all time, though it seems only time will tell whether these two champions lock horns in the future. Staying with WWE now and as one of the leading voices in WWE, it's clear that Corey Graves is a busy man. This week, the self-proclaimed savior of misbehavior was so busy, he didn't have time to watch the company's special Smackville event live, instead watching it in the morning with his kids. Proving the old saying that kids say the darnest things, Graves' daughter referred to one superstar as Tiny Guy, and while there's no shortage of smaller superstars found on 205 Live, she was actually referring to Kevin Owens. The former Universal Champion has been a lot of things in WWE, though we're sure even he wouldn't admit to being a tiny guy, and it's pretty adorable that he's seen this way by Graves' daughter. It may also mean that it's time for the Monday Night Raw commentator to spring for a bigger television. Graves took to Twitter to share what had been said, and got a reply from former WWE superstar Lance Storm, who asked whether Owens was facing the big show, which is probably the only way the prize fighter would look tiny. Speaking of commentators, it's been less than a year since Renee Young became a full-time member of the Raw announce team, but that tenure has not been easy. From her very first week, Young received a barrage of criticism from fans and has taken to Twitter to address her detractors. While this unsurprisingly led to more negativity in her comments section, Young did receive plenty of support from both fans and superstars alike. Nia Jax, Paige, and Natalia all came to Young's defense as it seems that the Canadian commentator is certainly popular with the fans, even if she's not with some of the fans. More news from Twitter now, and while many WWE feuds have used the social media platform to elevate their story, one new feud certainly has got fans talking. Recently, Lacey Evans and Alundra Blaze have been kicking off in a major way, after the sassy Southern Belle referred to the former Medusa and all the legends who appeared on Raw Reunion as yesterday's nasties. This certainly didn't sit right with Blaze, who told Evans she'd be lucky to ever be considered a legend, and that she was a failure in the military, referring to Evans' past in the US Marines. Continuing, Medusa held nothing back, claiming that Evans was forcing her husband and daughter to come see her perform, and that Mr. Evans wanted Lacey to be more like Blaze. Recently though, Blaze has asked fans to let Raw Executive Director Paul Heyman know she is open for a match with the sassy Southern Belle, as it seems a match between the two could be in the cards. Medusa hasn't wrestled in a one-on-one -on -one match since 2000, but did appear at last year's all-female pay-per-view Evolution, where she competed in a battle royal. If WWE is open to bringing Blaze back for one more match, it could be at the upcoming all-women's edition of SmackDown Live on Fox on November 1st. That same day, the male superstars will be in Saudi Arabia, so the women will definitely have time to showcase their abilities, and a match between Evans and the former WWE 24-7 champion could happen this November. From SmackDown to Raw now as United States Champion AJ Styles was interviewed by Sporting News this week and had plenty to say about the fans. When asked what he thought of Seth Rollins defending the WWE on Twitter, the Phenomenal One said he totally understood where the architect was coming from, saying, We were out there doing, trying our best to entertain everyone to the best of our ability. It's not easy to do that, and then you want to be the armchair quarterbacks. 
Carrying on, Styles made a very valid argument about people criticizing WWE, claiming, If these guys who want to criticize wrestling were so good at what they do, they'd have a job in the wrestling business. But they don't. They rely on what someone else has said and whether or not they agree with that. They pick and choose what they like. It's safe to say that Styles is in a pretty good place in WWE right now, holding the United States title as well as leading the OC into battle. With so much going his way, it seems the former WWE champion feels comfortable calling out some fans, many of whom have hated something before giving it a chance. When the 24-7 title was revealed earlier this year, fans quickly hated on both the physical belt and the concept, though it has gone on to become one of the most entertaining parts of WWE programming. Based on Rollins and Styles' reactions recently, it's clearly frustrating to deal with fans seemingly determined to hate everything WWE does no matter what, though we can't see this attitude changing, and until it does, the superstars and the company as a whole will just have to develop a really thick skin. Unfortunate news coming from NXT this way, as one of the brand's superstars, Karen Q, suffered a broken leg this week in tag team action. Teaming with Bianca Belair, the pair faced Rhea Ripley and Reyna Gonzalez during a match in Atlanta when the injury occurred. As soon as the injury was spotted, referees quickly threw up the dreaded X gesture, indicating that the match needs to be ended immediately, and it was after Belair scored a quick pinfall victory for her team. Carried backstage by referees and other personnel, Karen Q would take to social media to confirm the bad news, saying, Unfortunately, I won't be able to finish the hashtag NXT road trip, Karen wrote. I'm so proud of the matches I had this weekend, and I'm grateful to have the best family, friends, and co-workers. She continued, My leg is broken, but I'll be back. Thanks to all who have reached out and shown me love. Hashtag hold my drink, I'll be back. It's always terrible to see a superstar get injured, especially one trying to make a name for themselves in NXT. So we here are sending all our best to Karen and hope she gets better soon. While one young career hits a roadblock, we're looking at a legend now as rumors of The Undertaker appearing at SummerSlam continue to circulate. Recently, the former world champion was reportedly scheduled to face Drew McIntyre, a superstar Undertaker had personally requested according to rumors, but it seems plans have changed. Though an appearance by the dead man would be great at the biggest party of the summer, the current rumor is that the Phenom will not be appearing at the show, despite being locally advertised for the event in Toronto. While it won't be the first time that the WWE has advertised something and not delivered, as Universal Champion Brock Lesnar was recently advertised for this past week's Raw reunion, but never showed. Whether the dead man will appear at the summer tradition remains to be seen, but right now it doesn't look good for fans of the Phenom. Though The Undertaker may not be appearing at the pay-per-view, there are still plenty of huge matches already announced for SummerSlam, and according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, there are plenty more rumored. According to the newsletter, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions The Iconics could defend their titles once again against the Kabuki Warriors after retaining the gold via controversial means recently on SmackDown Live. The report by The Observer has also suggested there is a possibility of Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville being added to the match, and with two very game tag teams against them, it seems the Iconics days as champions are numbered. Speaking of tag teams, there will be plenty of gold on the line at the show, as the same report has suggested Raw tag champions The Revival will face the Usos at the show, though this may have changed due to Jimmy Uso's recent arrest last week. The new SmackDown Tag Team Champions The New Day could also be putting their gold on the line, this time against Elias and Samoa Joe. Regardless of what happens, SummerSlam is shaping up nicely, as it seems the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada is the place to be for the biggest party of the summer. We've got news from Tommaso Ciampa now, as the former NXT champion hasn't been seen on TV since being forced to vacate the gold due to an injury. In case you didn't know, Ciampa's incredible 237-day reign as champion came to an end after he suffered a neck injury, but it seems the Blackheart may be back sooner rather than later. According to an internal leaked report by WWE, Ciampa is expected to return to the ring in August, six months after his last match where he teamed with Johnny Gargano as part of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. It should be noted that though this report is still subject to change, as the company doesn't want to take any chances by having Ciampa return too soon, especially after popular stars like Daniel Bryan and Paige were forced to retire due to similar injuries. 
Though it may still be a while before Ciampa holds his goldie once again, the former champion does seem optimistic, recently telling fans that he went for a tan for the first time since his neck surgery and didn't feel any pain. After such an incredible tenure in NXT, there's the chance that Ciampa will be promoted to the main roster once he returns, as the Blackheart is seemingly ready to dish out his unique brand of punishment on the entire WWE roster. Well guys, that's our news for today. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video. 10 huge shocking WWE 2019 rumors you need to know about. Also check out our other high rated videos by clicking at the upper right hand corner or down in the description field. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and as always, thank you for watching.